Hello TRI fans, Ryan Ryder here. We're going to discuss some basic scanner setup. Um, if you're new to the business or if you just haven't done it in a while, just a quick uh, review of the tripod setting up with a scanner. So first of all, when you get your tripod set up, if you've got the carbon fiber tripod, uh, the releases go clockwise. And if you open them up and then pull out your leg, you can get your full extension of the um, tripod scanner legs. Once I do that for all three, release them, pull the bottom one out, and they'll all extend for you. One of the features of the tripod, if you don't work with the equipment too much, is uh, um, the base is usually set up for hard surfaces. Uh, the ball, half ball base will roll out. You just turn the screw and expose a spike if you're in the grass and need to stabilize it in the uh, grass or unstable area. So once you get the tripod out, just make sure the legs lock out completely to the outside and then uh, set it up. This should look level to you. From here we're going to remove the scanner. Two hands is your best option, that way you can control it um, and don't have to worry about dropping it. Remove the mirror protector. And then once you have this, um, put it on top of the quick release and continue holding it with one hand and turn the release until it drops down into the um, contacts, the connections, and then just maybe a quarter turn uh, clockwise until you get it um, just starting to get tight. No need to crank down on this at all. And then if you grab the scanner and just give it a little tug each way, it should be really stable, minimal movement, maybe just a sixteenth of an inch is all you have. Once you have that, the opposite of your screen, your back side of your scanner, the door underneath is the release for the batteries and the SD card. Push it on this one, it's toward you on the camera and the door pops open and it has battery and SD card. So you get your battery, uh, the connections on the bottom of the battery, so this is the top, this is the bottom, and um, bottom stays at the bottom and connects with the connections inside. Place it in there, push it in there until you hear a click. And then the SD card goes in one way and if it's got a label on it, it goes up and you shouldn't feel any resistance as you push it in. Real it goes in real easy and until it stops and locks in. And then you pull your door down. Up by the screen. <coughs> Look at the screen. The top is a power button. Hold the power button down until you get a blue light and you start up ready to go. You're stable. Um, situation, you got your scanner head on, you got it locked down, no movement, ready to start your setup. Okay, so you've got your tripod set up, your scanner set up, now we're ready to set up the project um, and your data for you to do your um, scans in order to get your project completed. So, and what I've got here is what your screen will look like when you do your setup. If you want to walk through with this, um, might help. So on our screen, the first thing we want to do is uh, format our SD card. So if we go to manage at the bottom right, you get your first button. We want to go into service. So service will get to our SD card setup so we can format it. Okay, when you format your disk, it cleans out all the files, any errors that you may have from previous pulling the card out too soon on a computer or something like that. But it'll leave your default folder settings, your profiles, and your last file that you did or your last project file name. Um, just the folder, not any of the files. So this is a good process to go through um, to do and um, clean it up um, so you can get rid of any issues or errors on the SD card. Um, part of that is you want to make sure once you do a project, you download it to a computer before you put this SD card back in and um, reformat it because the files will be gone. So the second step is to check on um, uh, two arrows back and get into the manage section again. Um, and from here we're going to check on our sensors. So we're going to check our inclinometer. 
make sure it's level. Gray means it's level. Uh, we're in a good position here. If it goes into yellow, you're in the 2%. You may want to correct it. Um, red is 5%. You definitely want to correct it if you want to use your inclinometer um, for your registration. So we go back because that's um, checked. Um, compass, when we, when we did your compass and you update it, uh, the compass cycles to 360 degrees and orients north. And it'll give you this screen right here that you see orient the top of your scanner head. So right in the middle is the mirror, and this is your power button. So on mine, if I did a line through the mirror and the power button through north, that would be what it's telling you is north is oriented on the scanner. In, the, in my condition, um, I did this prior to the tutorial, and it's in the correct position. So it's set up and ready to go. So now I want to go back again two times. Actually, on this one, let's go back home screen. So we've set up our SD card, and kilometer, and compass. So now we want to make sure that our project name is oriented. So we go into, excuse me, get too fast here, go into manage, and project clusters. And once again, your default stays and your last file folder stays. So I'm going to highlight default project. Once again, you can do this with a touch screen. And I'm doing it on the computer to get the same results. Okay, once I have it highlighted, I go down to the bottom right, hit duplicate, and now I'll get one that says copy. So once I have that copy, if I click on it or touch it, it gives me the next input window screen. So I can go to the project name and I can input the new name that I want for my unique situation here, okay? and uh, give it um, the, the new name that I want for this new project. And that could be a case number um, if you're in law enforcement and want to do it that way. Your project, um, parent project is not normally used unless you do multi-story and um, you're gonna manage your files that way. Feral scan is default, it's very easy to read and then it'll add your zero through whatever or one through whatever. Um, scan numbers. If you want to change that to a case number, you're, you can do that. You just highlight it and change it um, in the next screen. Um, initial scan number, I normally change this to a 1. If you leave it to the default 0, it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 6 scans. If you change it to a 1, your first scan is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know you got 6 scans. So um, to me that makes sense, so I change it to 1. In that so now that we've got our uh, project set up I can go back to my home screen and now I can go to my parameters um, I can select my profile and see if I'm in indoors I want to use one of these default profiles once again that's just your setup you can change your resolution quality color settings anywhere on this one I'll do indoor HDR um, and then from here I can adjust resolution and quality um, do one third and one eight, which looks good for this situation. And um, I want to keep color on this first one. If you're going through a project and you're doing in between, you're doing doors and grayscale to connect rooms, make sure you turn your color back on before you go into the next room. So I've got all those settings squared away and go back to my home screen. For my home screen, I can do my quick check, pull down screen here. Um, here's my project name, so I know I named it. I've got my new name here. It makes sense to the project. Here's my deset, um, my profile that I selected and some settings, including the, the time of this first scan. So if all that makes sense and I'm ready to go, um, all I have to do is um, click on the uh, blue button with the arrow and um, the scanner will start working um, under these settings. So I hope that helps get your... Um, squared away if you've been away from the scanner for a while or just wanted a refresher. Um, any other topics we can help you out with, give us a um, shout by email, ryanwriter at triplerinvestigations.com. Um, visit our um, website at triplerinvestigations.com or give us a shout on the phone. Um, phone numbers are on there. And uh, we would definitely um, try to get what videos that would help you out in the field. Thanks for your time. Hope to have a great day.